Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. We made it, through the precipitation at least. Um, there's still some showers coming down, isolated. Those will be winding down. We're going to go offshore flow and drying. But more precipitations in the forecast. So let's take a look at what just happened and what's next. We're going to recap the recent rainfall since January 31st. Some places had a third to a half of their seasonal precipitation. So seasonal precipitation is water year precipitation in California since October 1st. Showers continue, but they're isolated. So that's good news, right? We're done with the rain. Uh, just gonna take a few more hours. Dry weather Saturday, a little windy in the mountains, through the mountain passes, Cajon, Banning, San Gregorio Pass. Uh, we are looking at the chance for rain again returning, especially central Southern California. So we'll take a look at that. Here's a snowfall map and you can see across our mountain areas, snowfall was significant over the past seven days. Despite snow levels being up around 7,000 feet, much of the storm, they did drop to 4,000 feet for a while, including down into San Diego. Uh, you can see these locations here. Most of them are provided by San Bernardino Public Works and Caltrans. Rainfall. Rainfall was really significant. Here's San Diego County. Most locations saw three to five inches of rain since the start of the month. Remember, these areas average about 10 inches of rain annually. In North County, where it's typically a little wetter, averages around 14 inches. A lot of those places had seven, eight, even nine inches of water. If you look further north, Inland Empire, and then all the way out to Palm Springs, you can see quite a bit of rain uh, fell across the Inland Empire, but it ranged significantly. Even in Orange County, we had locations up around nine inches of rain. And I'm not talking about the mountains only, I'm talking about the coastal areas. If we go further north in our area, the San Bernardino Mountains and the San Gabriel Mountains, really stands out 18 inches of water in the mid elevations of Lytle Creek. So we typically do see some of our biggest precipitation totals, not on the peaks of mountains, but the mid-level elevations. And that's proof in the pudding there. Some of the higher elevations did really well, uh, up around 10 inches of water reported in the San Bernardino Mountains. You can also take the snowfall amounts and divide it and find a ratio for the snow. A lot of the snow was very wet uh, for a good portion of the storm and also had a lot of snow grapple when the storm became really cold um, midweek. There's also a network called Kokoraz, which you can participate in. Kokoraz is a volunteer network. You go outside every morning at seven o'clock. That's what I do. Four inch rain gauge. I purchased it, I measure it, I report it on the app. Uh, you can see some of the totals here matched up with the automated totals. If you go into San Diego County, there's a denser population of Coco Ross network. This is not a National Weather Service network, but um, we do like to promote it because it helps fill in the gaps on rainfall. Again, these are human reports. Someone goes out, checks their gauge once a day, seven o'clock and reports it, and we can add it up and see the totals here. When you go further north where it really rained hard between LA and Orange County, you can see some of those bigger numbers, but they match well to our automated gauges that I showed earlier. Okay, what's the improvement? Left-hand side is before the January 22nd rainstorm. After the January 22nd rainstorm is on the right-hand side. You can see mainly San Diego doubled the precipitation in that storm and our mountains only decreased slightly in terms of the deficits. So we made improvement, um, but it wasn't major uh, in all areas. So we went from about half full uh, for precipitation to uh, about three quarters full. Now, when I throw in the most recent storm cycle, February one through now, you can see huge improvement along the coast. We had areas that went from 25 to 50% of average, including Orange County, to being above average, 130% of average, the green shaded you see there. So huge improvements. Now we still have some significant deficits such as the Sierra Nevada mountains and, and much of the Rockies area. So 
Uh, precipitation really stands out now as above normal along the California coast with recent storms. The jet stream before all this was split going around us to the south and north. Uh, we had a huge upper level high pressure area or lack of Arctic air for much of December over the United States. Uh, then we had that Arctic outbreak, but overall the jet stream before the series of storms was split going to north and south, avoiding California. Most recently, it's pointed right at us. Um, these are anomaly maps. So these are showing the past couple weeks what is different in the atmosphere in the jet stream. Blue means colder, further south than normal. That's the focus of our jet stream pointed right at us, tapping into those atmospheric rivers as well. Uh, the upper level high pressure that's been dominant over the United States still there and it's massive. Um, it doesn't seem to be moving. The outlook calls for precipitation. I've got highlighted here with an arrow. Uh, the period of precipitation is week two, so next weekend, uh, with the biggest focus on central Southern California for potential rain. The official outlook is right here, uh, just issued today, and between day six and 14, so basically uh, February 16th to February 22nd, we expect a couple shots of rain uh, with the Pacific storm moving through um, and then a final storm potentially moving through around the 21st of February. So could be right back into wet conditions. This is what the average of all kinds of computer models look like. Uh, on the left-hand side is when the first wave comes in or the leading edge of the jet stream next Saturday. So we got about a week of dry weather, then next Saturday. And then the main parent storm, larger, slower storm, uh, sags across the west coast. So it looks like uh, all of California should see additional precipitation and possibly significant with this incoming storm. The jet stream, well, that's what's driving the storms in here. On the left-hand side, I'm showing the old jet stream exiting. So this weekend it exits into the Southern United States area. Then a new jet stream, very strong winds up at 30,000 feet is forming this weekend over the Central Pacific. That'll weaken a little bit and split a little bit, but the majority of that will track across about 30 to 35 north latitude and move towards San Diego next weekend, as I'm showing here on the right. Quick recap of the storm that we just had, about 30 to 50% of our seasonal average. More rain is coming, but we've got some dry weather coming up through next week. A little bit of wind this weekend, otherwise dry, and a little bit milder conditions for Southern California. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Finally here, a quick look at the tide forecast. This is for La Jolla. Our king tides will be slowly coming down this weekend. And if you're curious about the snowpack I mentioned in the Sierra Nevada, uh, as of yesterday, it's about 75% of average. I put a fun fact on the screen here that also shows um, the difference between last year and this year. Thanks, everyone.